guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to talk about my top 5 picks for what I consider to be the best leather soccer cleats slash football boots for 2013. Now keep in mind that this list is based off of my own personal experiences with all of these shoes. Your top 5 may be a little bit different and if there is a shoe that you like that isn't on my top 5 list that doesn't make it bad it just means it's not one of my own personal favorites so just keep that in mind. So without further ado let's get right into my list. The first shoe in my top five is probably the most overlooked release of 2013 and that is the Under Armour Blur Carbon 3 in kangaroo leather. Now as you guys can see the white area on the shoe is made from kangaroo leather. For those of you guys that are interested the shoe is also available with a synthetic upper variation but my preference is definitely the leather. The leather on the shoe is very high quality and in comparison to all the other shoes on this list it's definitely on the thinner side so it has that soft touch but isn't necessarily bulky which is definitely a good thing. Now to me this is arguably my personal favorite release of 2013. I put a lot of hours in the Under Armour Blur Carbon 3 in kangaroo leather. Really I'm a big fan of the shoe. It fits tremendously well. Has that 4D foam insole making for an incredibly comfortable feel. I like the fold over tongue um, or lacing system I should say where there's no physical tongue. It kind of just folds over similar to some of the older T90 models. It has that low cut. It's extremely lightweight. It has the carbon fiber lateral wing as well as the reinforced lateral side of the shoe. And then of course the combination of P-backs and carbon fiber in the sole plate make for an overall um, responsive feel that you just can't get from any other kangaroo leather soccer shoe out there. So again, Under Armour Blur Carbon 3, one of the best shoes that a lot of people are just going to overlook. The next shoe in my top 5 probably isn't going to surprise too many people as it is the Nike Tiempo Legend 4. Now the Legend 4 is in a category of soccer shoes that I would consider to be more of a hybrid type shoe where you have a combination of natural and synthetic materials to make up the upper and I think that the Legend 4 does it better than any other shoe on the market. At the front of the shoe you have your kangaroo leather which is really soft nicely cushioned, has that nice stitching pattern allowing the shoe to stretch but not overstretch in the forefoot giving you that nice custom fit. Whereas from the midfoot back the shoe is made from a synthetic Kangalite material, a material from Nike designed to mimic the natural feel of kangaroo leather while still maintaining the benefits of synthetic. So what you get once everything is broken in is a very custom comfortable fit in the forefoot and toe box area and a nice secure fit through the midfoot simply because that Kangalite is never going to overstretch. Of course you do have the ACC all conditions control across the entire upper as well which does allow for slightly better friction between your foot and the ball in wet weather playing conditions, a central lacing system, a suede heel liner, a very well cushioned pour on insole and for the most part it's just a very simple shoe that performs well and has a nice comfortable feel and a great touch on the ball. So again Legend 4 definitely in my top 5. The next shoe on my list is one of those shoes that I think most people don't even know about and that is the Asics Lethal Testimonial 2. Now this is a shoe that I like to call the modern version of the Adidas Copa Mundial in that you get that traditionally styled all kangaroo leather upper, your fold over tongue, the leather heel liner, it's very very comfortable, molds to your foot and it's pretty much suitable for all foot types but if you move on to the outsole you have ASICS modern technology with the HG 10 millimeter, meaning that there's basically an EVA foam insert going from the heel to the midfoot, providing a little bit of extra support as well as raising your heel 10 millimeters higher than in the forefoot, similar to what you might find in a running shoe. It also puts your body in a much more um, athletic position, if you will, that is proven to reduce the risk of injury. So it's kind of a cool little idea. It does feel a little bit strange at first, but after a couple hours of wear time, you definitely will get used to it. Then if you move on to the outsole itself, you can see you have a much more aggressive stud pattern than what you're going to find on the Copa Mundial. Um, again, a more modern feature that you won't find on a shoe like the Copa. And again, the quality of the leather on this shoe is absolutely incredible. Every bit as good as the Copa in my opinion, which is what you can come to expect from ASICs. They make really good shoes, just aren't all that popular in North America. I know in Australia this is probably more of a common shoe as far as what you see out there on the field. But in North America, one of those shoes that gets overlooked a lot. Um, but still is a very, very good performer and definitely worthy of being on my top five list. You can't talk about leather soccer shoes without mentioning the Adidas Copa Mundial. 
For me, this is a shoe that really sets the bar for what any kangaroo leather or leather inspired soccer shoe should strive to be. It's a classic design, it's been around for a very, very long time, and really the feel of the shoe speaks for itself. This is one of those shoes, and I've mentioned this before, that I think everybody should have an experience with at one point or another. The entire upper is made from very high quality kangaroo leather. It's a little bit thicker than what you're gonna find on most modern soccer shoes, but it provides an incredibly soft touch on the ball and a very comfortable feel in general. It's also one of those shoes that's suitable for pretty much all foot types. So whether you have really wide feet, really narrow feet, or just average with feet this is one of those shoes that's going to fit you really really well it does have a higher cut in the ankle area so it is fairly supportive and then of course as you guys can see you have a very thick plastic outsole with that classic copa stud pattern so it's not particularly aggressive but it definitely does get the job done and overall there's a reason why it has stuck around for such a long time because it really is that great of a shoe definitely worthy of being on the top five list the final shoe on my list is being called the Copa Killer, and that is the Nike Premier. This is a shoe that Nike brought out to compete specifically with the Adidas Copa Mundial to run alongside their already classically inspired, traditionally inspired Tiempo Legend line. Now the Nike Premier, in terms of bang for your buck, is one of the best values out there, especially if you're looking for something with a full kangaroo leather upper. So the leather upper is made from kangaroo leather. It's very, very soft, as you guys can see, and it's not nearly as thick as what you're gonna find from the Copa, even a little bit thinner than what you're gonna get from the Legend. So it has that nice soft touch on the ball, without feeling bulky whatsoever which is definitely a great thing central lacing system memory foam insert in the tongue the heel liner is suede uh, making for a very comfortable feel from right out of the box and while it is a leather shoe there really isn't much in the way of break in time required the outsole is extremely flexible giving the shoe a very natural feel and just the shape of the shoe itself is a lot more modern in comparison to something like the copa so i think that a lot of people would prefer the feel of the nike premiere as opposed to the copa not to mention that it's a lot more lightweight as well even lighter than the tiempo legend and then of course you do have that traditionally styled um, outsole and stud pattern that um, definitely does do its job in terms of providing good traction on firm natural grass plane surfaces. So again, the Nike Premier, probably one of the best values currently out there on the market. Alright guys, that's it for my top 5 leather soccer cleats for 2013. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. And be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you agree with my top 5 picks or if there's other shoes that you would have considered or put on that list as opposed to the ones that I chose. So again, leave a comment down below. Let me know some of your opinions. As always, if you do have any questions as well, leave a comment down below and I definitely will get an answer out to you. I'll leave some annotations on screen to my other top 5 pick videos. You guys can go ahead and check those out if you are at all interested. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description. And as always guys, if you are looking for more information on any of the shoes showcased in today's video, you can find the review page links down below in the description that will take you to my website soccerreviewsforyou.com where you'll find tons of extra information on how each of these shoes fits, feels, and performs. So other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.